Hi, welcome to If I Did a Show where we analyze and solve pure kerfuffles from Emily. Wait in the end. <laughs> See, uh, clarification. That's a sound effect. That's it. That's all. Exactly. No and reason to demonetize the video. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. There you go. Man. I'm Alexi Old, and joining me is always Kidney Bloody Elbow and Eugene S. Robinson from Ozzy.com, an author of Fight Everything You Ever Wonder About Asking. We're afraid you get your ass kicked for asking. Oh, you got that right. Damn. I wonder if I should even use that book intro for if the shoes fit, right? Like, but still ass kicking, I guess. I'm sorry. I'm still selling it. I'm still in debt on that book. Oh, You're man. still in debt? Yeah, that means I get statements from HarperCollins with red oh. stuff on it. You haven't yeah. cleared yet. You haven't got your advance back. But that tells yeah. you you got an advance. Yeah. 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 Back 20... when they were paying good advances, how much did they pay you? Uh, 20 grand. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. A friend, friend of mine says she got 100 grand from Rupert Murdoch. At his, well, he's got some fifth estate or fifth column or some other imprint. She could have been lying, but you know, people only lie by, by about half at most. So even if she's lying by about half, that's 50 grand. Yeah, that's all right. I could I could do with that. Yeah, sure beats the two grand and one grand that I know people are getting offered. But anyway, we're collecting the MMA Pancholes. Pancholes. Uh, Eugene, sir, aka Panchole number one. <laughs> see, see, see. I'm Panchole number one. Oh, no, he's no, Panchole. You're, 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 you're asshole number one. <laughs> <It's a big laughs> that too. <laughs> we're definitely gonna do. Ah, uh, there's a joke there somewhere. I don't have time. Me and shit. Uh, so, uh, Eugene, you're at WME IMG. Mm -hmm. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen told Reuters that Conor G is down with Ali, as in the act live in public, if you will. Quote, we have been told by his team that he was going to come to the Hill to talk about this. End mm -hmm. quote. Do you care? Um, I think the bald one would have cared. Um, but you know, this is a brave new world, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you ever remember that Phil Hartman character, the caveman lawyer, Yes. you know, and, uh, I, there's a brave new world for WME and I can see them saying their sharpest, their sharpest in the court your strange fight ways are confusing to me. I, I don't, <laughs> you know, but it's all, you know, it's, it, it goes up there with that thing about, you know, some people will say, fuck it. And then some people, fuck it, let's make this work. I mean, to them, if you think if you think any kind of fighter contract or any kind of fighter dipping their toe in the Ali Act or any kind of free agency is going to present a difficulty to somebody who's used to dealing with hiding, well, you know, I don't, I don't want to get into slander. How about this? You know, d dealing with a raft of personal personnel issues that might be part and parcel for a day in the life of a Hollywood producer, actor, writer, produ uh, director of photography, all the people that they deal with at WME, this is, this is, this is to laugh. This is to laugh. It's like, whatever, whatever. Yeah, fine. Go let them, you know, because the congressmen are just like cops when they bust a porn star for prostitution, they get it to the police station. She, she, you know, she autographs her, their photos, and then they let her go. You know, yeah. McGregor, they want McG to get, show up, and he does a no dog report, and he should go. He should 100 percent should go, sign some autographs, take some picture for the kids, the grip and grin, and, and, and leave. Uh, to me, if I'm at WME, I got so many bigger fish to fry. To me, this is insignificant. I can't imagine it's going to present me with with any grand difficulty down the road. You know. Mm. So what's the worst that can happen? I mean, it's like kids walking up from stand by me walking up to something dead by the side of the railroad tracks and poking it with a stick up. oh i think i moved i think it, oh no it, did, it didn't move it didn't move let him go let him do whatever he needs to do just make sure he gets on the card sometime in the next six months that's all, all we right. need. what are you about you <clears throat> well i think eugene's sort of right he's like the blind pig nuzzling around there's, there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's a nut somewhere in the forest and he's in the general vicinity, but the in thing the misty, is in a misty forest, yes. in a misty, misty wood pile. Mm. WME has lost control of Conor McGregor. They can't do shit to Conor McGregor. They have no leverage over Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor calls the shots at this point because Conor McGregor just made fuck you money. Like mm. it, you know, it, by all accounts, 
he's made enough money to tell them to screw and retire anytime he wants to. And he's shown that he can make money boxing. He can do the, you know, even if he never wins a boxing match. Easy. He can make a lot of money losing a couple more boxing matches. He can he can go back out there, you know, and if they really want to go to court with him, he's got the money and the time now. He's got normally the time is on the side of the promoter against the, in a dispute with the fighter because the fighter has such a short career. Well, in this case, the promoter has a very short window in which to make payments on the multi-billion dollars they borrowed to buy the UFC, which was already saddled with over half a billion dollars worth of debt in the first place that had never been paid back. Interest payments have been made, but that was it. So they've got to get blockbuster pay-per-views in the pipeline. And right now, there's one fighter who can deliver those blockbuster pay-per-views, and his name is Conor McGregor. Keith so Robinson. he's not doing shit to oh, Conor sorry. McGregor. He's right. <laughs> his- I had a moment. You had a moment? Yeah, you didn't hear it. It's okay. Okay, that's good. So there's like only, the, there's uh, only one fighter that could rescue them, and I was like, Eugene Robinson. <laughs> and then you said Conor McGregor, and I woke up. I think that safety pin's poisoning in your bloodstream, Eugene. <laughs> oh, you can, oh, you can see it. Uh, can oh, you yeah. see the scar on my neck? I cannot. I can see some tattoos coming up over the. You can't see that scar on the neck right there? Yeah, I see that. See that. Yeah, Got to the white meats. Yeah, exactly right. Damn. What's it from? Sorrel Academy, man. It, 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 Sorrel Academy. They're scratching like girls now? Hey, anything. Anything. Any port in the storm anything that goes. get out of brutality. I see. And man. you were imposing said brutality? Here's some, here's some check for you Brutalni Homoclata. For our Czech listeners, Homo wow. Clara. Yeah, that's wow. what I said. Wow. Well said, Sammy Modlin. Well said. Well, you know, speaking of violence, <laughs> yes. Uh, Nate, you're Chris Cyborg, Justino. Let me beef Your team up called the okay. cops Ooh. on an agent, allegedly, who tried to give her an anti doping sample in Thailand. Guess she said, fuck it. But up, thank you. Now, folks are popping off about steroids. Should you wait until the results come back before responding? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. If if I'm giving PR advice to Chris Cyborg, my number one, it's always going to be, shh, <laughs> don't say anything, honey, because every time you open your mouth, it's a fucking disaster. And this one looks especially bad, especially given her track record of failing drug tests. So, yes, by all means, keep your mouth shut until the samples come back and then respond by saying exactly what you've been told to say and nothing more. That's my advice to Chris Cyborg. Man. That's pretty that's you? pretty solid advice and and I mean the reality of it is this if you want to be it, you can't be involved in criminal activity and be a specialist unless you're very, very good. You need to diversify your, your, your criminal pantheon, you know, mm. uh, by which I mean I was arrested. And I was arrested and charged with two crimes. I was charged with false impersonation and false information to a police officer. I successfully argued my way out of false impersonation, but I got Pop for false information to a police officer, which means every single cop for the next four years that stopped me saw that I, written on the computer screen, was a convicted liar. Right? <laughs> right? So now I'm not saying <laughs> the I can't. Yeah, I'm. Some, I'm not saying I can't commit any other crimes. I just can't be. I'm my my life as a confidence man, bunko squad. I got. I, I'm out. I gotta. You know, something else. So Johnny Boney Joni, Cyborg, you need to, you need to, you know, you need, you just can't. You just you just make it too easy. Boney Joni or, did a good job of diversifying. I mean, you know, crashed into the the pole. You uh, know, correct, you, correct. You know. Except you can't hit twice on the same number. Otherwise, people start to get suspicious. If you know what mm-hmm. I mean. Running back to get that weed and that money. That those were different different things. <laughs> You know, the pipe in the background, the cocaine, different side kind of sections of the, the pipe. pipe called me. I heard it. Penis oh, I couldn't pi- leave pe- it. I could not penis, leave it alone. Penis pill. Yeah, it was like New Jack City. Penis pills were the one, <laughs> one thing. Yeah. But once you get popped for steroids, 
you got to know. You got to know. You got people have suspicions about fighters all the time. Guys I know who take steroids, who are fighters, I was always shocked. I thought I was beyond being shocked. Always shocked because not like with bodybuilding, you can tell easily. And if you're not training with them, there's no way to know. Tim Sylvia, did you ever see that happening? Did you ever believe looking at Tim Sylvia that Tim Sylvia was on something? But he was. All natural. Yeah, so the suspicion is, is, is large, and if you talk to a fighter, he'll tell you much higher, much higher percentage-wise than anybody who's not a fighter. So you, if you want to live outside steroids, yeah, if you want to live outside the law, what is that thing? You got to be honest to live outside the law. So mm. you just can't. Yeah, it's like Nate says, keep your mouth fucking shut at this point because you're not helping. Man, let Tito do your talking for you. He's good at the talking thing. Speaking about uh, helping, uh, the brings that us was a, to, that was a uh, joke. That was a joke. Don't have Tito say anything. <laughs> but we have Kid Nate's heel turn to say something. Well, I don't really have a very good heel turn this week, but it's Michael fucking Bisping. I've had it with this guy. Like calling GSP a fucking fraud. I thought for sure I had a heel turn, but then when I read the article, it was sort of justified. And <laughs> why is that? Walk us through it. Well. You know, he, you know, I see the headline. I trained with GSP. He's a fucking fraud. I'm like, oh, man, he's, he's saying GSP can't fight. This is, this is a heel turn. Like, and then I read it, and what he's saying is, I trained with GSP so long ago that I didn't know how to fight back then, and that's the only reason GSP wants to fight me is because he remembers how, you know, ignorant I was at basic wrestling. So, you know, yeah. so now I got to complain about how he's saying he never dodged the number one contender. Oh, fight oh, GSP. Oh, 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 oh. But if you look at it, All right. he's right. His case holds up. I mean, all these guys had injuries or, you know, Robert Whitaker turned down the fight. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? So that's my fucking heel turn. It's Michael Bisping out there being a dick, and yet I can't pin him on anything specifically that's so dickish it merits a heel turn. That merits a heel turn. Ha. Huh. How about that? So, so you are the heel in this heel turn. Well, I'm always the heel. Yeah. But in this instance, it's still Bisping. It's fucking Bisping, uh, yeah, and I'm gonna a, get him. Uh, that's I'm gonna a, catch him. Yeah, you sound like Captain Ahab now. That's yeah, a little, or little little fun, you know. Yeah. Or the villain in Scooby Doo uh. gets you past eight kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kids. Meddling, meddling kids. Meddling okay. kids. Or from the, uh, you know, you could have a guest spot on your. Um, on your Demetrius Johnson show, man, because you sounded like uh, the, the bad guy in Lance Salt Lake. I'll get you, Lance Salt Lake! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my favorite was... I'll get you, Michael Bisping! <laughs> what, what was her name? His girlfriend, Dixie's... Uh, Mata uh, Harry. Mata Harry. Yeah. Mata Harry. I'm Lance <laughs> I, lo I love you, Lance a lot. <laughs> that show is exploitative of animals. <laughs> but that's what made it so good. So uh, I, I, I like that office baboon. Have you seen that gif with the office baboon? Yeah, he does a lot of stuff that I do in my office. <laughs> and yet if I said that, you'd call me racist. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. You're talking to me after all, you know. So uh, look, biz, look, there, there are a couple of things. I, I, I've got – you Introduce your own segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is lost, but maybe the lost battalion. <laughs> I mean, you know, people were like sending me these plaintiff tweets and texts about – Where's Knuckle Up this week? Where, where, where's Rick? Where's the people's poet? And, and I was like, you, you, you want, you, you have five Knuckle Ups left. You want me to waste it? You want me to waste one on OSP? I, 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 should, I should point out that Kid Nate had a lot more cares on this card than, than I did. I, I should, my rate was 100%, however, because I had one on Draj and she beat the fuck out of Claudia Gadella. Yes, she did. Uh, I don't know what Nate's pick rate was, but it wasn't as good as 100%. So once again, I win and Nate loses. But I, say, I, I would say, I would say <laughs> look, I could squeeze what little I was going to say about those two fights, and I'm talking about Bellator as well, into the Lost Battalion section because – OSP has lost his fucking mind, okay? Uh, I don't know if he thought what he did against the over it, past it, you know, Yushin qualifies as anything, anything, anything that warrants anything he ever said in the post-fight press conference, which I know half of you didn't see. So he was in the lost battalion before the fight. He is in the lost battalion. He's got... 
he's got he's got a, a booth in the Lost Battalion, or like like uh, my man uh, Davy from uh, from uh, uh, New Mexico says he 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 has got he is uh, uh, lit lost in the supermarket, mm. right? A guy who's got some talent, maybe you could market him, but he's got zero charisma, so he's just kind of there. He's just kind of there, not really a gatekeeper, just kind of a guy who's there in the division, just a guy. Who are you? Just a guy in the division. So, and then with the with the um, with the Bellator, I had a guy Gas, uh, Gaston Blanos, who I picked because you'll know why to, by Thursday. Those of you who follow me on Twitter, and uh, he got choked out into unconsciousness. So I was one down on that. And then the rest, you know, uh, Ben uh, Henderson, I have to say, was saying awfully misty, misty, misty shit. Despite our our close and personal time at at the Worlds last year, uh, I just have to say, man, you you know, the road has turned, man. You don't need Diana Ross to tell you that the road has fucking turned. So be happy. Realize now at this point, you're like a like where did wrestlers used to go 30 years ago? You know where old wrestlers used to go 30 years ago? Japan. No, high school wrestling. Oh, uh, the fake I, stuff. Yep. It's your coach, Mr. Henderson. All right, you guys, do some laps. Uh, well, you know, you know what? Randy Couture Professor was the first Vesper's one to get out of that. It was the first one to get out of that ghetto in a really major way. Because I think uh, Randy Couture, I think he was oh, coaching, okay. coaching wrestling at either Oregon State or, or University of Oregon, one of the two. I think I'd be fuzzy about that. So, so those guys were noticeable. Because keep in mind that the entire sport, every single combat sport, with the exception of maybe stick fighting, is in the Lost Battalion. But noteworthy in the Lost Battalion were OSP and, and, and Ben Henderson. What about Paul Daly? Uh, no, nah, you know, Paul Daly has been – he he's a different kind of character, man. He he's was, definitely not Lost Battalion because – He's not Lost he Battalion. The knockout and the good call-out. Yep, and and he was excised. He was like uh, Garden of Eden, you know. I mean, uh, I you know, I just think they didn't like him. Yeah, I, you know, the shit that we've seen in in the cage before and after that it makes his you know makes his fucking hitting uh, 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 costume because just that being a fireball. Of, no, that's not a fireball offense. You what? That's the first time somebody punched somebody at the office. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 coworkers aren't laughing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Don Ryland. I'm sorry I pushed you down in the aisle, but you put your face too close to my computer. So, uh, so anyway, so, uh, so that that that's my take on the Bellator and the UFC. Uh, I, I've got some of the 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 uh, angry, bitter text from people that may be, uh, uh, you know, haters that maybe uh, Andrade should be drug tested. You know, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, for what, cough syrup? What, 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 what are you saying? Oh, performance-enhancing drugs? Come on. Just, well, especially just, against Gadela, who, like, you know, she has an amazing uh, win record when she's fighting in Brazil. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Yeah, see, once you go down that hole. But, uh, but uh, Bisping, yeah, I got some guy, Sussex Matt now, who's, like, texting, or I think it's Sussex Matt, who's texting me about Bisping and that I'm wrong, that Bisping's incredibly popular in the U.K. All I know about Bisping, and I just want to address before we move on, is that they tried to build a promotion around this guy in the U.K., and it didn't work out. Why? Is it because the U.K. is not ready for mixed martial because arts? Because he couldn't win the title. That's why. There and also because he shit the bed in that Matt Hamill fight and made everybody hate him, even yeah, the English go. fans. There you go. Even the English fans. So this, this lie that Sussex Matt is trying to propagate that he's loved over on the fucking British Isle. Ah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Man. Well, uh, thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitter, Eugene S. Robinson, Alexio to Kidney, and Facebook, MMA Pancholis. Please give us a thumbs up, Eugene. Yeah, and you, gotta, you go to Ozzy right now and read my article about almost getting shot in a warehouse in Newark over 500 rifles. Damn! By, by a lunatic who now I'm worried about <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, Lord. Him and Jeb Bush. Uh, this is the kind of guy that jumps out of the bushes at you, you know. Oh, so you gotta... Wow. I'm not kidding. You read the piece. I'm not kidding you. It's it was a heavy moment for me. Man, leave comments on YouTube. Subscribe to MMANation.com on YouTube and MMA Nation on iTunes. Visit Bloody Elbow by Oxbow's Thin Black Duke. Wherever fine music is sold. And really follow this show. Be sure to check out our new non MMA show if the shoes fit on YouTube. In this video's description, 
right down there. <laughs> down below. No, that's your your private parts, not there. Oh. Well, in the screen, it'd be right down <laughs> yes, there. there you go. Well, that's also your private parts, kid. Oh, the private parts. Check out the private parts of this video <laughs> for something magical. We'll be back next week with another song if I did it. And I don't know what we're going to be talking about it yet because the PR mistakes have yet to be made.